Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about congestive cardiac failure. Treatment overview. The treatment overview. The overall goal of the treatment of congestive cardiac failure is to increase the cardiac output. The goal achievement is done by improving the pumping action or reducing the workload on the heart. The treatments are of two types. We are going to talk about the types of the treatment which are surgical treatment and treatment using medications. Okay. Surgical treatments. Surgical treatments could be done by using valve repair or replacement. It could be done by a crafting technique which is known as CABG or cabbage and shot which is known as coronary artery bypass craft. As we all know that the main cause of congestive cardiac failure is coronary artery disease and uh, the coronary artery could be clogged or could be um, blocked due to fats deposition and it could be crafted um, due to which the workload on the heart could be reduced and the pumping action of the heart could be made efficient. The second option towards the treatment which is in the surgical one is angioplasty. Angioplasty is opening up of any clogged artery which is supplying blood to the heart muscle or to the myocardial muscles. It could be done by using any of the techniques to open up the clogged artery which is supplying blood towards the heart or heart muscles. In the severe cases or we could say that in some cases there is a very severe condition in which surgical implants can be used which is uh, its examples are a pacemaker. Pacemaker is uh, a device which could uh, make the heart rhythm normal. Okay, the second one is ventricular assist device. As we all know that the main pumping organ of the heart is ventricle. So this device provides functional aid to the ventricle to pump blood efficiently towards the peripheries or towards the lungs. And in the most severe cases and uh, heart transplant is done, the whole heart is changed and a donor is required uh, by which a heart can be taken and it is placed inside the body of the patient which is having a congestive cardiac failure. But it is very rare and uh, also it is a very expensive technique. Okay. Um, we would revise the things which are surgical treatment. The surgical treatment could be done by valve repair or any angioplasty like we could do any of the uh, arteries which are clogged uh, by fat deposition can be opened up by using angioplasty technique. And the third one is severe in severe cases which may require surgical implants like a pacemaker, like a VAD and also a heart transplant. Okay, moving towards the second option, the second option of the technique is treatment using medicines. The treatment using medicines in this technique or in this treatment, the main goal is to decrease the fluid low overload and decrease the blood pressure. As we know that in CCF fluid overload is increased and there is an edematous condition in the whole body. So we have to decrease the overload. Second option is to decrease the blood pressure. As the blood pressure would be decreased, the heart will, uh, there would be low tension or less tension towards the heart and it would pump the blood normally. Blood pressure could be decreased by using two techniques which could be uh, which are uh, decreasing the heart rate or increasing the vasodilation okay first we would talk about decreasing the fluid overload okay decreasing the fluid overload uh, the best option to decrease the fluid overload is diuretics as the name indicate uh, their main function of the diuretic is diuresis or we could say increase the urine 
output or simply to decrease uh, to increase sorry to increase the fluid which is present inside the body by uh, increasing its uh, velocity increasing its uh, okay these diuretics mainly act on kidneys and increase the urine flow as the urine flow is increased the fluid overload is decreased okay fluid overload is decreased okay now we could talk about the diuretics types number one type is thiazide diuretics or number two is lube diuretics these two diuretics are that type of diuretics which increase the flow of urine and other um, salts like sodium potassium and calcium these all are excreted in thiazide and lube diuretics due to which there is a condition in which uh, uh, which can cause hypokalemia which is not really good for the heart and the body so there is a third type of diuretic which is known as potassium sparing diuretics this potassium sparing diuretic leaves this uh, potassium inside body and secretes or uh, the uh, sodium and calcium in the water and plus water in the urine means it leaves the potassium inside the body monitoring should be done for hyperkalemia in this condition because the more potassium level is also not good for the body okay this was the first uh, option in the treatment of medication which is used for the decreasing the fluid overload okay now moving towards the uh, other option which is to decrease the blood pressure to decrease the blood pressure or to decrease the heart rate number one option is ACE inhibitor which is NGO tensin converting enzyme inhibitors okay it is angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors as we know that angiotensin 2 causes vasoconstriction Angiotensin 2 causes vasoconstriction and as vasoconstriction occur heart uh, the blood pressure is also increased so angiotensin 2 is blocked by using these drugs and due to which there is increase in vasodilation and the fluid overload is also decreased and secondly the heart rate is also decreased and the blood pressure is decreased as the vasodilation is increased fluid load is decreased in this type of uh, medications by aldosterone level because angiotensin also act on aldosterone and aldosterone retain the salts the second option is ARBs which are angiotensin receptor blockers the angiotensin which is produced in the body exon receptors these type of drugs block the receptor and decrease the heart rate and as the heart rate is decreased the uh, blood pressure is also decreased and it helps in the CCF condition the patient is most probably relaxed beta blockers beta blockers are given uh, these beta blockers mainly act on the heart rhythm and make it mostly normal by binding towards the norepinephrine and it decreases the heart rate and heart rhythm is proper positive ionotropes positive ionotropes the main drug is digoxin digoxin is given it opens and closes the sodium and potassium uh, channels due to which there is a positive ionotropic effect and heart could pump properly that was all thank you so much for watching